to install Android X86 in VMware, you are going to go to Google and search for Android X86. Open the first page and follow the downloading process for this website. After downloading, you are going to open VMware and click on create a new virtual machine. Then choose install a disk image file, browse and locate the ISO image for Android X86 that you downloaded. From there, you are going to click next. Then under guest operating systems, you are going to choose other. Then under the vision, you are going to choose other 64 bit and click next. Virtual machine name, you are going to put Android X86. You can then choose the location where you want to install and click next. Specify the disk capacity. I would recommend at least 20 GB of storage. After you have set storage, you are going to click next customization and change the memory to at least 2 GB and also enable accelerated 3D graphics under display. Click close, then finish. After that, you are going to play the virtual machine. To make the keyboard type inside the virtual machine, you are going to press Ctrl G. Then you are going to use the arrow keys to go down and select advanced. Then select auto installation and press enter. From there, you are going to see a prompt that is going to say you have chosen the auto installation. The installer will erase everything. Are you sure? You are going to choose yes because this is a virtual machine and you don't have to worry that it will delete anything from your computer. From there, you are going to wait for the loading screen and then you are going to see the prompt saying, congratulations, you have successfully installed Android x86. Here, for others, it might just work, but for those that it might not work, there are some additional steps which you are going to do. So you are going to choose reboot, then on the next screen, you are going to make sure the first option is selected and press E to edit. The next screen will come and you are going to press E on the keyboard to choose edit. From there, you are going to use the arrow key on the keyboard to go to the left until you find quiet. You are going to delete quiet and replace it with normal deset xforce versa and press enter on the next screen you are going to press b on the keyboard to boot into android and wait for it to load then you're going to finish up with the starting up settings you have to know that these commands are not permanent so we need to edit the boot options to make it permanent so from here we are going to open the command prompt by pressing alt F1, then we are going to enter the following commands. I'll put these commands in the link description below and make sure to follow the spacing and everything so that it works correctly for you. After you are done, you are going to press enter. From there, you are going to press I to enter into the insert mode. Then you are going to set the timer to zero. Then you are going to replace the word quiet with no mode set X force VESA just like we did before. Thereafter, you are going to press escape to exit the insert mode. Now to save these commands, you are going to type full colony WQ and then press enter then you will see console and hashtag you are going to type reboot to go to android 